Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Chef Fran. But first, give me a virtual hug by hitting the subscribe button. And in return, I will give you a new recipe every week. So all over these different social platforms, everyone's crazy about this new viral sensation of a flaky croissant bread with a cookie. But we're gonna add a little twist to it today. And we're gonna make our own type of croaky from the pre-made cookie dough. Let's do it together. So I wanted us to do something fun because this viral sensation of this croaky is basically a lot of people are just doing chocolate chip cookies. So I found some cinnamon toast crunch cookie dough. And so I wanted to try that with, and I'm using some mini croissants. So let's cut up our little mini croissants. This should be definitely fun, but hopefully tasty. We take one cookie dough, and I think one cookie dough is gonna be more than enough to kind of like spread out here. And I'm gonna keep the tradition of how they do it in Paris and put a little bit on the outside of the cookie dough right here. I'm not gonna do the corners, I'm just gonna do it this way. Let's cut some up. So, I'm going to fill our dough. And so I just flattened it and just kind of spread it in the croissant bread with my fingers. I have gloves on, so not too much. Just a little bit, kind of spread it out. They go like this way. Just cut the last one. Again, just kind of like, get your dough to be a little soft and it makes it a lot easier. And just putting a little bit on the outside of the dome, along that line in the middle. I have found that my, I'm gonna put in my air fryer but I'm not using the air fry mode, I'm using the bake mode. And I find that five minutes is really enough time for this. Um, but the packaging does state, uh, the bake time, it says 16 to 20 minutes on, but I think that's too long, on 350 for my air fryer. Or you could use, you know, an oven, conventional oven, whatever you wanna do. Here's our vitamin content. So actually, I'm going to correct myself. Because they're minis, I'm actually going to do this for four minutes and not five minutes. Because I like it to be a little lighter. Now, if you want it to be a little darker, then I would suggest going five minutes. If you use the larger ones, definitely you want to do, if you're using an air fryer on the bake mode like mine, you want to do it um, depending, again, on the preference of your color. I would say five to seven minutes. Three in here. Another three in here. And before you know it, we're gonna have a delicious snack. And here are our list of ingredients. Okay, so I'm just putting just a tiny bit of powdered sugar, just for the little aesthetics, as they tend to do with the other ones that we've seen. All right, so here we have, Gio, our Cinnamon Toast Crunch completed. I'm gonna take one right here. You grab one. Take this. Whichever, it doesn't matter. So Gio is our resident taste tester and he is going to take this thing to what it tastes like. This is a new flavor. We're having fun, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Well, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is actually one of my favorite cereals, so I enjoy this one a lot. It tastes sort of like a cinnamon roll with the crunchiness from the croissant with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor. So overall, it's pretty good. I'll try with the coffee too. I want you to hear this. So that is the flakiness that you're hearing. that flakiness in the back of it. So I am going to take a bite. Wow. Look at this. See that ooey gooeyness? Oh, man. Oh, whoa. This tastes like a cinnamon roll. Oh, my gosh. This is delicious. You... If you could find this cookie dough and you love cinnamon buns 
or Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, this is the route to go. This is absolutely sensational, delicious. Chef Kiss, mwah, for sure on this. And thank you for hanging out with Gio and I and eating some croquis. The Cinnamon Toast version of cookie dough with croissant. And we ask you to come back and hang out with us again. And most of all, be good to yourself and God bless you. A twist on boring salads is your ultimate guide to creating sensational salads that will leave your taste buds begging for more. Imagine having a different, delicious, and creative salad for every day of the month while you transform your salads into a culinary adventure. But that's not all. Chef Fran Glover has something for every meal and love in every bite. Whether you're looking for appetizers to impress your guest, breakfast options to jumpstart your day, satisfying lunch and dinner recipes, delectable desserts, or even dishes for those following a veggie vegetarian or keto lifestyle. This cookbook has it all.